SEMrush has just released a brand new AI content creation tool called Content Shake that really offers some unique features. Content Shake is really helpful for giving you specific ideas on what to write about on your website based on your site's actual topics and what your target audience is actually looking for. Then it will help you craft an outline and actually write the content, then giving you a score so you can see how you can actually improve your content, optimize it, all to be able to help you better rank that piece of content. And then you can actually publish it directly to your website. And here I want to show you how this works. To find Content Shake, you can either use the link below or from your SEM Rush dashboard, select Content Marketing and go to Content Shake AI. Now, if you have never used the tool before, it is going to ask you to give it some topics about your website. So it's going to be able to give you some specific recommendations. I highly recommend here that you start with the most relevant topics, the ones that you most want to talk about, and maybe leave off the ones that you don't do as much. That way it will give you the most relevant and useful ideas. So we'll fill in a few ideas here. And as you populate some ideas, it's also going to give you some other similar ideas that you may want to select. When you're ready, simply click start writing. Okay, our ideas are now ready here. Now, if you have the free plan for this, you are going to receive three topic ideas every single week. And those are going to have three ideas for you within each of those topics. And then each month you can create three free articles. Now, if you have the paid plan, like I'm showing here, this is going to give you 25 ideas every single week, because it's going to give you five different topics as you see here across the top. And then each of those has five different ideas listed within them for you. So this is going to allow you to create an unlimited number of articles here. You can use all of the rewrite features as many times as you want, and you can even one click publish this to your WordPress site when you're done. So let's take a look here. We have the topic idea here is wood grain. Now this is going to tell you if this is an informational intent or even a commercial intent like you see for this topic idea. Now it's going to also give you an efficiency score. So it's going to give you a high, as you can see, these are all high efficiency scores. Now, basically an efficiency score is going to be based on the keyword volume and the difficulty level for that keyword. So if you simply hover over this information icon here, this tells you this topic idea here has a volume of over 12,000 monthly searches and that it has a difficulty score of 47. So this is going to allow you to decide which keywords you want to be able to go after. It is a good idea to be able to pick a topic and then go in depth and create really a cluster of content around a particular topic topic uh, before moving on to a, another similar topic here. So we can either select from one of the topics that they have. So this one, for instance, drill press, and it gives us some specific ideas about what we could write about for a drill press. And, and that's where we have to go and think about our particular audience and what they're going to be searching for. What are they actually going to be looking for finding useful? So we have mastering the drill press, a beginner's guide. So kind of what level are they, um, you know, are they a beginner? Are they pass that and want to go a little more in depth. Um, someone who maybe doesn't even have one yet and needs to understand a little bit more about that and so forth. Uh, woodworking classes we have here as an option. Now, another thing you can do is put in your own idea. So let's say you have done some keyword research and you want to put in your own topic idea and start writing about that. You can certainly do that too. So let's look at this one. We have drill press. This is a commercial intent. We see that it has a search volume of over 40,000. Uh, difficulty score is 58, so it's a little bit more than our wood grain idea here. And we can pick a topic here, the underrated tool why every workshop needs a drill press. So let's start writing this. So this is taking a look at the competition as well as it analyzes and begins to write. And as you can see, we're starting to get this article here. You can see the word count is going up as you sit and watch. 
we have the title, we have a little intro, they're adding in some pictures for you, they're adding in the different sections. So you can see we have an H2 header here, we have, uh, this should be an H3 header. So we have some subsections, we have some bulleted lists. Formatting is very important, it's helpful for the user. So this really does all of that formatting here for you. It gives us some final thoughts here. Now what we can do, we'll scroll back up here to the top and you see that we have 477 words that it has created. Now, just as with any of the content AI tools out there, we don't want to simply just take the article as is and just publish it on our website. So the purpose here is really to give us a head start, to get us an article that we can go in, we can edit, we can enhance and make it really our own before we go in and publish it. And this just makes it really fast and easy to do. So there's a couple of options here at the top that I want to make you aware of. The first is the AI chat. Now, what this is going to let you do is it's going to let you produce some more options here. So we have titles, introduction, images, and structure. So let's say that you are taking a look at this title and you decide you want some more options. Well, you can simply click on generate titles for this article, and it's gonna begin writing those titles for you so that you'll have some more options. So here we have several options and we can paste these over here into our title and come up with something new. Now, if there's something specific that you wanted to write about or go into more detail on, you can also click click down here in this box and ask AI to write whatever it is specific. If you want them to go into um, specific features of uh, a drill press, for instance, if you want them to talk about some of the benefits some of the projects you might use it on, uh, then you can add that in there as well. Now, another thing is competitor data. So this is gonna show you what some of the top ranking competition is using because you don't, of course, want to copy what the competition is doing. You wanna use that to determine is the title that you are selecting better? Is it more engaging? Is it uh, spark more curiosity? Does it make the reader think that you have better information than one of the other top ranking articles? And is it more likely to get clicked on? So that is where it is good to review some of the competition here, see what titles they're using and see if you can craft yours to be even better. The same thing with introductions. You can look at the competition. How does their introduction start? If you want to look for images, you can go to Unsplash and you'll be able to just add in some of the images directly from Unsplash. If you have your own, that's ideal, but if you don't, this is a great way to just be able to pop in some images really quick there. So we have all of that. Now, the last section here is improvements and improvements is going to give you basically some feedback on what they just wrote, but they think could be a little bit better. And you have to go through and choose which sections you really want to improve. So we have three categories of ways that you can improve the article. The first is SEO. You have readability. And lastly, tone of voice. So SEO is just as you would expect. So the only improvement here is saying that the keyword has been used a lot in drill press, but of course that is the main topic of what we are talking about here. So that is where I would go through and as I'm reading the article, see is there really a use for that? Do I need to have that keyword in there or can I refer to it as, as the tool or it or something else? Just want to make sure that it reads correctly. Sometimes what I like to do is read the article out loud because that allows me to hear it differently than if I'm just reading it. And then you really start to hear if something is uh, happening too often or if I'm talking like this to a friend, does it make sense or they'd be like, why do you just keep repeating that? So that is a good way to kind of see if you are using it actually too much too much and if you need to rephrase any of the sentences. Uh, we have some readability improvements. So some of them here are just suggesting that we rewrite this particular sentence or section. Um, this one here, it says replace two complex words. And so this says we're using the word versatility. And so they do suggest a lot of people that you really write on more of like a fifth grade level, something that's just basic. It's easy for everyone to read. Nobody has to really think about any words because that can send people looking for a different article that is simpler. So this is where you can choose to rewrite this. So in this particular case, simply clicking this is going to highlight where the word appears. And so this one, versatility with uh, accessories, you can choose to rewrite that. So simply clicking on the improvement is going to highlight where in the text that improvement actually appears. 
here. So we can see here, versatility is part of the header. And so we can come up with a new word. But let's say we don't like a particular section. Let's see, we have this one. This is saying this is a hard to read sentence, so we can choose to rewrite it. Now to rewrite it, we can simply just manually type in a better sentence or just change it up a little bit if we want to, or we can use some of the AI tools here. We have a number of tools here across the top. We have the rephrase, simplify, expand if we want to add to that summarize it or make a list. So we can click on rephrase now that this is highlighted. And what this is going to do is going to give us an option here. And we can either go ahead and just replace that text. We can try it again to get a better option if we don't really like the one that it came up with. Uh, and just go ahead and paste that below here. So we will go ahead and click that in to replace it. And that removes it from this list. So you'll have to take a look at this. Do you believe that we need to rewrite all of these? Some of them you might think are just fine and other ones you'll want to go in and improve here. So we also have tone of voice. So this is saying that they think it, the sentence is a little too formal. So again, simplify. A lot of times I, I try to think of this as talking to a friend. Would I speak in the way that I'm writing? But everybody's style is a bit different. So you have to just make sure it fits in with your tone of voice for the site that you are writing. So we can rephrase that again. This is particularly crucial when dealing with delicate or intricate projects that necessitate accurate holes. So that doesn't sound quite right. So we'll try that again. And then we can replace the text there and move on. So if you want to be able to expand on any text, you can simply just create a new line and you can ask the AI to write something specific. So again, if you want them to give a list of benefits, uh, a list of potential tools, uh, whatever it may be that you want them to expand on, you can do that as well. Another option is to highlight the text that you want them to expand on and click on expand and allow it to generate some more text for you. And you can decide, do you want to paste it below this highlighted text or even try to rewrite it if you want something a little bit different. So we will paste that below. And now that it has added another section into that. So you can see that simply asking the AI for a little bit of help is going to really help you. And so this is a really great way to do this really, really quickly, be able to produce some, some good articles really, really quickly. Uh, but you always, as I mentioned with any of the AI tools, you want to make sure that you do edit this, that you do read this from top to bottom. You send it over to an editor if you have one and you make sure that it, it reads good for your users. Make sure that it is accurate. Make sure that it does answer the questions. It does have enough information for what the topic is actually about before you go and publish it. But if you're looking for a way to get this content out a lot faster, this tool is really amazing for being able to help you do that. And as I mentioned with the pro version, you're getting 25 topic ideas and an unlimited number of articles that you're going to be able to create every single month. And this way, instead of publishing maybe one article per day, if you had to manually write it from start to finish, this is going to allow you to write three or even five articles per day because you're able to produce them and just go in and edit them, tweak them where necessary and publish them, which you can do right here by simply clicking on publish and it's going to give you a few options here. So to publish this, you can install the content shake plugin and this is going to connect the content shake tool that you have here with your WordPress dashboard and it will send it directly into WordPress all nicely formatted like this with the pictures already to go for you. That makes it super easy. You can also send it to Google Docs, which I do sometimes when I want to send this over to an editor and have them be able to look at it as well. Or you can go ahead and just share this if you want to get a link so you can send it to somebody, give them read access to this as well. Now, the last thing that I want to show you here is going back here to our dashboard. Now that we have started to create an article over here on the left hand side, we have the article section. So you can see that we have the article that we have now started to create the progress on that when it was last edited. And we can either publish that right from here or go ahead and open this article. So as you create articles, they're all going to appear here in this list for you. And you can always pop back over to your ideas, pop in your own ideas or use one of the ones that they came up with at the beginning. So as you can see here, they're already starting to crank out this article based on the keyword that I have put in and it looks good. They're giving us six projects that we can work on, gives us some images 
and it's continuing to right here. So we can go through this same process and that's just how quick we can create these articles. But I wanna go back here and I wanna last show you the settings here. So this is the keywords that we put in at the very beginning. And if we wanna change this, this is where we'll be able to do that at any time. So the new ideas we get will be about the new topics that we have put in here. This will also give you the link to be able to install the WordPress plugin if you do wanna publish directly from your Content Shake dashboard. And a reminder about your notifications here. If you go up into settings, you can enable this allow email notifications. So that way, anytime that you get new topic ideas, they are ready for you in your dashboard, you can receive an email about those there. So I encourage you to try out Content Shake, see how this works for you. You can start with the free version that gives you a few topic ideas and articles that you can write using AI every single month. And if you really want to increase the amount of content that you are creating, you can always go for the premium version, which will save you a tremendous amount of money compared to hiring writers for every single one of these articles. As always, if you have any questions about Content Shake AI, don't hesitate to ask down below and I will help you there. Thank you so much for spending your time here with me and I'll catch you next time.